everybody and welcome to Andrew Rant's video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about everything that pisses me off, annoys me, and drives me up shit creek without a paddle. And oh, does it ever drive me insane. But I digress. Yes, I still have my cold. I'm a little stuffy and my voice is not... Well, it's sort of being helpful, but I'm not pushing it. <clears throat> anyway, what's my beef today? Well, believe it or not, it's actually kind of geared towards my local grocery store. Now, believe me, they have not had a very successful run of stuff that has done more to piss me off than anything else. Look, when you have something that's on sale and you have it in the freezer and it's on sale, it had better damn well be marked that it's on sale. If it's in your weekly flyer and it's advertised, then you don't have it, you know, up for sale and you don't have the sticker that says it's for sale and I, the stupid customer who's now gone into your store hoping to buy said item is now disappointed because there's no tag that says that it is on sale and it didn't just fall off when there's not even a clip for the tag to go on, I would find that a bit disturbing and not to mention, oh, what's the word for that? Oh yeah, false advertising, bait and switch. You know, those things are actually a bad thing. I took economics in high school. I learned a lot in that class, actually. I learned how to calculate gas, at least to give you an estimation. I learned about the first McDonald's over in Tenement Square, and I had actually had a pretty good teacher for economics. I won't deny that. But I'm not here to argue about how piss poor my local grocery store is. Look, it's you take what you get at this point. No, I'm pissed about this. Now, a while back, they had this really big ass pizza and I mean big ass pizza now for those of you that don't know I am a fan of pizza like if I ever say that that pizza looks good you better buy it it's goddamn worth it I mean I could tell you tales of frozen pizzas I have had over the years I could tell you the best frozen pizzas I have ever had the Giorno's Red Baron's Tony's are my top three favorites Tombstone can or I'm just going to say it, Tombstone can suck my dick. I don't like Tombstone pizza. I have never really been a fan of it. It's the sauce that does it for me. I've had Elio's pizza. Not a fan of that either. And I have had Tostino's party pizza. Look, when I have to grind my teeth almost like a chainsaw just to eat the damn thing, that's a problem where I come from. I mean, I've had pizza rolls. I've had Hot Pockets. I am a pizza aficionado. If I tell you a pizza is good, it's good. I remember a trip I took to the Smithsonian down in Washington, and I had literally, I'm not even lying about this, a quarter of a baking sheet of a slice of pizza. Big ass square thing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get like a little corner of it, like a little tiny square, a couple squares. No, I got a quarter. My mom and I both got a quarter of that thing. Combined, we had half that baking sheet of a pizza. Whoo! I love pizza. Well, my local grocery store had this, you know, big pizza from their deli. And I'm like, oh, I love this thing. It's so good. But then they kind of redid some of their deli stuff, and they got rid of it. And I was a little sad because I liked it. I mean, they had good – I mean, okay, there was one good pizza topping. And I know somebody out there is going to go, Andrew, pineapple's the best pizza topping. You can bite me. Pineapple sucks on pizza. You don't put fruit on pizza. What the fuck puts fruit on pizza? No, no, no. Pizza is a very unique thing. I have had a philosophy for years that I believe if every single person in the world had a slice of pizza, there would be no war. There would be no problems. There would be peace among the people because pizza is the ultimate food. It can be customized. It is so well done. It is not even funny. It is the quintessential pizza is the quintessential food. It is the greatest food ever devised. Seriously. I even watched this in economics class. I looped the whole thing around again. As we watched the video in economics about how pizza was brought to the U.S. and the history of pizza. And I watched it. I can pull it up on YouTube and rewatch it anytime I want. I love pizza. I'm a humongous fan of pizza. I even make homemade pizza now with uh, Italian bread slicing it in half and our hamburger and hot dog rolls. If we have some left over after like uh, 4th of July and, you know, um, Memorial Day. We'll take some of those, get some sauce, get some shredded mozzarella cheese, some pepperoni for me, and we make ourselves little pizzas. Uh, we got some Kaiser rolls. 
uh, from some of our relatives that had some extra. And oh man, whoo! You ever make a pizza with a Kaiser roll? Oh my God, whoo! Not only, not I, I'm not even shitting you on this. Not only is a Kaiser roll the best roll to put a pizza on. Whoo, man. Whoo. You are going to be tasting that in your stomach for days. You will be eating dinner six nights later, and you will go, I remember that. I remember that Kaiser roll pizza I had a couple days ago, almost a week ago for lunch. Wow, that was good pizza. Wow, holy shit. That was good pizza. But I digress. I'm getting off topic here somehow. Me and I'm talking about pizza. I mean, there's really nothing to go wrong here. I'm talking about pizza. I love pizza. I love pizza, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting off topic. But anyway, my local grocery store had these, you know, big pizzas from their deli. And these things were good. I bought one because they had, oh, sorry, let me phrase that. I bought two because they had them on sale uh, months ago. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to get one of these. I wanted to try one. It was five bucks. You had to spend $25 at the grocery store to get it for $5. And, oh, you can easily do that getting the rest of the groceries. I'm like, hey, I'll spend an extra five bucks and, you know, I'll have myself a big ass pizza. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought that DiGiorno, and I apologize for the noise of the annoying cars when I drive down the street, but I thought DiGiorno's big ass pan pizza that actually comes in the pan to cook it. I thought that thing was beautiful. No, 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 no. That's like, okay, well, never mind. That's actually first place right now with this. But this pizza, oh my God, this pizza was a close second. Oh man, I'm getting, I'm, I'm drooling just thinking about it. This pizza is like the god of pizzas. Oh man. Ooh, I love pizza. But anyway. I am getting way off topic here somehow. But anyway, they brought the pizzas back. I, I, I saw them. They were down there. And I'm going, because I go to the grocery store on a Tuesday and my mom goes on a Friday. And I saw them down there today. And I'm like, oh my God, they brought the pizzas back. I mean, they're like eight bucks normally. I'm not going to spend eight dollars for a pizza. If I'm going to spend eight bucks for a pizza, I'll go buy a couple of DiGiorno's. They're usually on sale. Or I'll go check the frozen pizzas. I, I know, I know it's the El Cheapo route, but hey. You get what you pay for, and I have no issue with Red Baron. I have no issue with Tony's. I have no issue with DiGiorno. I like their pizza. Tombstone, like I said, can suck my dick, and, El and Elio's can bite me. I don't like their pizza either, but I love pizza. There's certain ones I don't like, but basically, I, I was pissed. The only pizza they had back, they finally bring this thing back. The quintessential god of pizza is returned to its throne, and it's cheese. J just cheese. Nothing else. Just plain cheese. No. No, 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 no. Cheese is the bitch pizza, okay? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended anybody with this, but I'm serious. Cheese pizza is the bitch of all pizzas, okay? It is basically the bottom barrel pizza. This is the pizza you literally slap onto a table and go, what can I do to improve you? I have to figure out some way to improve you. I have guests coming over, damn it. They don't want cheese. They want something on top of the cheese. Cheese is an indicator that food is still coming with this deal. That there is something else underneath the cheese. You know, the cheese is here, and then there's something else above the cheese. That's the indication of the cheese. The cheese is not just, the cheese is not the main course. <sighs> now, I know there are some people that like cheese pizza, and you know, to each their own. I think, I, I've eaten cheese pizza myself. It's okay, but I like having something else to go along with it. I like pepperoni. I am a huge pepperoni nut. I, I love the stuff. I could actually eat it right out of a damn bag. I could get a stick of pepperoni, a literal stick of it, mind you. I could polish half that off and really be happy about it. I mean, I eat Slim Jims. I, I could eat pepperoni. It's nothing to me. But, and I want to stress this part. I get annoyed when people want to put other toppings, like black olives. What the hell? No, no. You don't put black olives on a pizza. What the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, like I said, pizza is the quintessential food. You can easily make this for everybody. And I still stand by my, if everybody has a slice of pizza, there would be no problems in the world. Yeah, because it's customizable. That doesn't mean that I want to try it to each their own. That's why you can have it. This is what's going to bring peace. Look, here's pizza. Pizza brings peace. It starts with a damn P, for God's sake. It's it's bringing peace. It's pizza. But I want to have it with black olives. Fine. One black olive pizza for that one over there. What do you want over there? Pineapple? What the hell? No, you don't put pineapple on pizza. I mean, look. 
To each their own. Whatever you want to put on your pizza, that's fine. I am a pepperoni sausage kind of guy. I love pepperoni and sausage. I've had some, sadly, ones that had peppers on it. I'm not a huge fan of peppers. I, I just don't like them. There's certain foods that I can and can't have, hence why I don't like certain toppings on pizza. I can never figure out why people want to put pineapple on pizza. I mean, that, that, that's weird to me. But then again, there are weird people in the world. Like I said, tweets their own. I mean, look at, uh, what, what was his name? John Stewart uh, threw a fit because of uh, Chicago deep dish pizza. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll agree if you have to eat it with a spoon. It's technically a casserole, but... Yeah, okay, fine. But it's basically, it's to each their own. You can't please everybody, but pizza can please everybody. It just pleases you in your own certain way. You like having pizza. I like having pizza. You like having this pizza. I love having this type of pizza. Look, you have your pizza. I'll have my pizza. And we can all bond over pizza. If you haven't guessed the quintessential theme of this video, it's pizza. Yeah, I know, Andrew Ray, it's pizza, right? Yeah, this is the funniest thing in the world. I'm ranting about pizza. No, I'm ranting about the fact that my local grocery store decides to put the quintessential bare bones pizza out on the shelf. Look, this is the pizza. Cheese pizza is the pizza that you look at it and go, this is a blank canvas. If Bob Ross would still be alive and he would go into making pizza and be a chef, he would look at this and go, okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to put some trees over here. We're going to put some pepperoni over here, a little bit of sausage over here. We're going to put some black olives down here. Now, just make sure you space out these green peppers a bit. You want to make sure that they get all nice and tender. Doesn't that just look nice? And make sure you get this movement here with your hands. Now we want to put a little bit of focaccia cheese right on top of here. Sprinkle over a bit of mozzarella just to kind of give it a nice little coating together of everything to hold everything together. Pop this baby in the oven for about oh 30 minutes at 350 to 400 and you got yourselves one beautiful lunch here my friends. Until next time I'm Bob Ross and uh, bye bye everybody. Yeah that's basically what he would do. And this is literally like the joy. I can just see it. The joy of pizza. There's a parody for somebody. The joy of pizza with uh oh god you have to come up with a funny pun for that. Um I can't think of one. But anyway, there you go. The Joy of Pizza. Somebody make a parody of that. Like a Bob Ross parody called The Joy of Pizza, where Bob Ross is literally making pizza. I mean, if the man would still be alive, okay, probably wouldn't eat pizza. I, I don't know what his dietary things were. But still, you get my point. Pizza is a quintessential food, and cheese pizza is like the blank canvas. So why sell the blank canvas? I don't want to put something extra on my pizza. I, I'm buying it, and I'm spending $8 on a pizza, for starters, and it better come with toppings on it. No, no, this isn't a, oh, you get the toppings extra. I mean, what's going to happen next? Are we going to get to the point where Papa John's and uh, Domino's and all them are going to start going, hey, you know what would be great right here? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know what would be great. You tell me what would be great right here. Hey, you know what we're going to do? We are going to make you a great pizza. You want to know how we're going to do that? We're going to sell you the toppings, and we're just going to give you a blank cheese pizza, and you're going to put them on. Each topping's five dollars. No, 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 no. No, if I'm paying money for a pizza, most pizza places are like twelve, thirteen, twenty dollars. I remember when I was a kid, there was a great place. It was called Pizza Time. Oh my God, it was a beautiful place. The pizza there. Oh, I would have it the next morning for breakfast, the leftovers. And I was in elementary school. Got yelled at by my first grade teacher. You eat pizza for breakfast. Yeah, I eat pizza for breakfast. You want to know what else I eat? I eat pizza for breakfast. You don't know why? Because it's damn good. This is pizza. This is the quintessential pizza. This is the pizza that basically every creature in the world stops and looks at it and goes, that is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Yeah, it tastes so damn good. I don't know how they did it. It tasted so delicious. I don't even know if there's any of them around anymore. I don't think there are. That's sad because I miss, I miss that. I love the taste of that pizza. I remember that pizza. Oh, God. Woo! Pepperoni and sausage. Pepperoni. Ooh. Oh, yes. I've had many, many takeout pizzas in my day. I've had Pizza Hut. I've had Domino's. I have had Red Papa John's. I have had Pizza Time. I'm salivating now of the thought of these things. But I'm still pissed that my local store decided, hey, here's pizza. We're giving you pizza. We brought the deli pizza back. We hope you're happy. I am. I'm ecstatic you brought it back. 
I want toppings on this bitch. I don't want a cheese pizza. There are people out there that are fine. You want a cheese pizza? Have a cheese pizza. I have no issue with that. But I don't want a cheese pizza. You want to know what I want? I want a non-cheese pizza. I want a pizza with toppings. I want a full pizza. I want pepperoni. I want pepperoni. I want pepperoni and sausage. I want more on this blank canvas than the cheese. You have the dough, the sauce, cheese. I want something else. That's three toppings. I am a man that loves even numbers here, damn it. Oh, but if you throw pepperoni and sausage on, that makes it five. You don't have to throw entirely on there. It could be a half pepperoni and half sausage. Do you know what that equals out to? Four, because it'd be three and a half toppings and then four toppings with one half of each. But no, no. What did we get? It's cheese. It's cheese. Look, I love pizza, okay? But don't ever, ever show me a cheese pizza and say, here you go, Andrew, enjoy this cheese pizza. No, no, no. No, I'm not going to enjoy a cheese pizza. If I see a cheese pizza, it's got to have something extra with it. It's not a cheese pizza. If I don't want a cheese pizza, you want to know what I want? You want to know what I want? Something extra with my pizza. I mean, sure, all right, I'll take a bag of chips. I'll, I'll take some soda. Yeah, that's fine. That's a main course meal there. As your, as your side dish and your drink. But you want to know what I want? I want pepperoni. Pepperoni pizza, damn it. It is a staple. If you ever have cheese pizza on a shelf, there's got to be pepperoni around. Pepperoni is one of the three main monarchs of pizza. There's cheese, there's pepperoni, and then there's Supreme. But, you, but nobody cares about the Supreme. I don't care about the Supreme. I don't care about Supreme. Supreme can take a back seat. Pepperoni is the one that I side with. If I have to have a choice between the three, I'm siding with pepperoni. Pepperoni, I, I got pepperonis back. Pepperoni pizza and I, we're tight. But when it comes to others, no, 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 no. Don't you ever hand me just a plain cheese pizza and say, yeah, here you go, cheese pizza. Uh-huh. And the rest of the toppings are coming when? Never? Okay, that's what I thought. But hey, you know what? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? What is your favorite type of pizza? Would you be offended if somebody just handed you a blank pizza? Here's a cheese pizza. Here you go. Enjoy. What's your favorite type of pizza? And before somebody asks, there actually are pizzas out there for people that can't have yeast. And there are pizzas out there for people who are lactose intolerant. I have seen them. So... Let me know what your comments are in the comment section below, what your favorite type of pizza is, and would you be offended if somebody came up to you and handed you a cheese pizza and said, here you go, this is what you get, this is your pizza, it's cheese, nothing but cheese, that's all it is, just cheese. Would you be offended? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rants. Bye, everybody.